Hey guys, welcome back to Lingless Gentleman Gaming with me, Roscoe. I've been playing a bit of Far Cry 3 from the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection recently, and I'm quite enjoying it, so I just wanted to bring you a few thoughts on the multiplayer. Um, this bit, this, this aspect, the loadouts is quite good. You can have 25 loadouts plus the four preset ones. This is a preset one called Saboteur with a silenced P419 or something. I haven't got my head around all the nuances and finer points of this game yet but it's quite good fun I like most about it I mean um, I got a first blood there it's quite good I think it's about my best moment of the match to tell you the truth there's a few things there's quite a lot of like this is one thing I dislike about it um, <clears throat> it's about 15 seconds till you respawn between deaths which is a bit irritating and so far I have yet to work out how to spawn on a teammate you don't appear to be in squads either, or not that I've noticed anyway. It might be something like Killzone where you basically invite people to your squad. Again, I, I get precious little time to game these days, so I tend to just get in and get stuck in. Uh, we'll start with things I like anyway, overall. I think the maps, this is my least favourite map actually, but the maps are very bright and colourful. There's lots of places to run, hide, snipe from. There's not very many choke points, which is another thing I like. I mean, one kind of criticism I would have if you will of um, Battlefield 3 over Bad Company 2 say is that maps like um, shit, Grand Bazaar as an example can be quite a gang fucking place especially if you're playing Conquest and that middle flag is just it's just a death trap going down that corridor of death but um, I've not uh, what else do I like there's lots of guns, there's a fair amount of guns to choose from, sniper rifles, shotguns, I think there's a flamethrower, not sure if that's a secondary weapon though. The, there's a quite a few different things you can tweak on your guns, different sights, configurations, um, grips, silencers, blah blah blah, that's all good. Right, so I like the maps, they're nice and colourful, this isn't the best map in my opinion, but I've done that already. What else do I like? I like the different game modes that are in it. I mean, they're all generally a flavour of capture and hold, basically. Uh, this one, you capture one point, but then after five minutes, sir, I don't know what the exact time is, another capture point comes open, and you've got to, you've got to try and to win anyway. You've got to simultaneously hold them both. Um, it, it just It's not massively novel, you know, there's not a lot you can really do with it, but... I just think it, it makes a nice little change and uh, that like you know capture the flag or capture what do they call it now conquest sorry or conquest domination that's a zip line just above my head there that I've only just realised you can use them um, things that come under weird or annoying rather than disliking them I've yet to work out how to change my weapon loadout actually in the game <clears throat> what I mean by that is say I was unhappy with the sight on the gun I was using. I've yet to work out how to change it while the match is actually running. It's You can do it quite easily once when you're in a lobby between matches but I've yet to work out how to do it actually in the middle of a game which is a bit irritating and um, not enough to put me off playing it right but because you do have 25 loadouts to choose from anyway which is quite a lot. I mean I've not, um, I think I'm level 12 now so I've not actually unlocked very much. Um, the maps are quite big for as colourful and pretty as they are and as you know, pleasant they are to play on. I'd argue that to some degree they're a bit too big. I mean, you can, they're not quite Battlefield 3 big, but they're definitely bigger than Call of Duty, and you can definitely spend a relatively large amount of time um, running around and not seeing anyone. Right, things I don't like. Um, this thing I've got now where I can see through walls. It's useful when you've got it, but you can only imagine that when your opponents have also got it, you're basically dead meat. Um, it does. It, I think there's some overpowered perks, or there's definitely some overpowered guns in this game. I saw a video of a guy basically tearing the shit out of the opposing team with an MP5, just hip firing all the way, which I thought was a bit. You know, an MP5 is a submachine gun, and yet this guy was proper fucking rocking it. Um, so some of the perks are a bit overpowered. Thankfully, you don't seem to get them for very long. But, again, I'm only level 12 and it goes up to level 75, so Christ knows what you can get later on. I was speaking to a dude on Twitter the other day and he was saying that he's level 75 on this. And it's just like taking fucking candy off babies, basically. The, the other, one other thing I'd like to point out, the sidearms are crap. 
The pistols are virtually... I mean, I've tried a few times to kill people and I've only one pistol kill so far. And I've got quite a lot of pistol kills in Bad Com uh, Battlefield 3. So it's not like I'm shit with pistols. It's just... I think they're... It's like pea shooters, basically. They don't appear to do any damage. Either that or the people I've been going up against um, have got something else that annoys me. One dude I was playing against the other day, he had 140% health. Which... <clears throat> um, seems to be a reward for... for Persistence, really. You know, just you, know, you slog away to get to level 75, and you can unlock these massive body armors and health and all this sort of stuff. And I was like, oh, it's just a lot of bollocks, really. Coupled with the fact that you'll have the best gun, which appears to be this weapon I'm using now, but obviously in a slightly different configuration. Um, that guy was tearing around. I think he went something like 35 and two, um, which made me think that, you know, like a lot of online games, I went for the Rambo revive there, but I got nailed. You know, it's quite cute, this thing, this little screen showing you where you got shot and the trajectory of the bullets and stuff. The first ten times you see it, but it gets a bit boring after a while. You can skip it, and you just end up looking at a screen that counts down from, like, 13. Or you can cling to life, as they call it. Um, like, well, I'm sure there was a guy behind me then. I do like the fact that everyone can um, revive people. There's no need to arm defibrillators or any crap like that. It's just everyone has the ability to revive down to teammates, which I like. I think that adds something to it. Although, yeah, I've played, say, 12 or 15 rounds now. I've yet to be revived. <clears throat> I've done a fair bit of reviving myself, though. I think I've revived 22 teammates so far. Um, so I'm quite, you know, I do like to play the objective and revive teammates and stuff and not just concentrate on the kill-death ratio. Um, what else is there? What else was I going to say? Graphic. I think, oh, yeah, I think... Um, Six aside is a bit on the low side, given the size of the maps. Um, I'm not sure that, or is it, six, is, it, is it supposed to be 24 players? I can't remember how many is in the lobby, but I do think it feels a bit empty sometimes. The spawn system is a bit weird as well. Um, what I mean by that is, if, you, if your team basically wipe out the opposition, the opposition all spawn in the same, pretty much the same place, I mean like right on top of each other, so that you end up if you happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, you'll come up against five of them. Which is, it doesn't spread people out very well, in my opinion. There's a, a lot of times, you know, you'll be there, I'm trying to, you know, get around the sides or, you know, flank them, whatever you want to call it. This is where I was trying to be a bit smart now, because I was sick of running into people and just dying instantly, so I thought I'll fucking basically, I'll camp. It didn't appear to go off the map here, but it was telling me to get back in the fight, so I had to move forward a bit. But this dude was, uh, Good enough to hit sit there for me, so I could pick him off. I think I get another one before I die. Um, it, it took me a while to work out. There's a little white bar you can see going around the minimap on the right of the minimap, and three little whited out logo things. Um, they're along the lines of the Call of Duty 4 perks and World at War, actually, for that matter. The first one, which looks like a gun barrel, you know, like a, a six shooter thing. That's actually a, well, a scout helicopter, so the UAV or whatever you want to call it. That just shows your opponents on the minimap. The next one, I believe, is poison gas. And the third one is some sort of explosion thing. I've only been around once when one of those has been brought into play, but that's been tweaked since the game came out. When the game first came out, <coughs> you didn't. You, you obviously, you weren't points or level add up or whatever you want to call it by doing stuff like reviving teammates or killing people. <clears throat> it used to be that it didn't diminish at all when you died. It does now. That's kind of been tweaked a bit since... Um, do I actually revive this guy? Yeah, there we go. It's weird sometimes you can revive folk from miles away. I mean, I, I stabbed the ground then and I still picked that guy up. But yeah, it, I mean, it's quite good. I mean, I've, got, I've now got the ability to call in scout helicopters, which I just did then. So I, mean, I, I like the 3-5 uh, and 7, I mean, it works out about 4 kills I think, something like that. I'm not dead sure, I like to say I've not really played it that much. But I've been having a good time. If you've got PlayStation Plus, I do recommend getting this. It's free basically, you can't, go, you can't do better than free. And it's quite enjoyable. Like I say, I've yet, there's only one person on my friends list I know who's got this, and I've been trying to get hold of him for a, to grab a round or two on this, but he's been playing the Battlefield 4 beta, which... I, had a, I must admit I had a couple of goes on the obliteration mode last night and I quite enjoyed it. It was a nice change. I mean, I don't 
particularly Dig Conquest. I think on the PlayStation 3, it's, the map's too empty. I mean, the map's the same sort of size as the PC version. There's just not enough people in it. You spend age, you spend a lot more time running around doing fuck all than you do actually in the battle. Whereas Conquest Domination, obviously, they basically close off two thirds of the map, and there's the same number of players, and it's a lot more adrenaline fueled, shall we say. This I do get picked off a lot in this game, quite easily, I think. There's the occasional one where I do end up picking someone off from miles away, but as a rule of thumb, I do tend to, it's like, you know, two or three bullets and I'm dead. don't know where that guy ended up buggering off to. Probably coming around the side, actually. Although I did manage to get the capture, which, to be honest, is more important. You get two grenades as well, which I quite like. You normally get... I don't know what all these perks are. Like I say, you can't arm them when you're in the middle of a fight, and I always forget to... You don't actually get that long in the pre-game lobby, either. So it's not that easy, for me anyway, I've not worked out it's an easy way to uh, mess around and tweak the weapon loadouts and stuff, but you know, overall I'm having a lot of fun playing this. My only other issue is that I've, I've, I have struggled to actually join a game properly. I get in, you know, it opens up alright, and it says I'm in a lobby and blah blah blah, and it just freezes on me. Um, whether that's my missus downloading half of Encyclopedia Britannica on the computer at the time, I don't know, but... Oh, the other thing I don't like, and it's just a... A principal thing rather than saying it doesn't work in this game but it's um, peer-to-peer -peer, this game I just have a general objection to peer-to-peer -peer. it's not that I've actually had a bad game or feel like I've been getting a crappy connection or getting any of the uh, rubber banding I've had in Battlefield recently just, I generally don't like peer-to-peer -peer games I just think it's a bit cheaper of the developers but overall to sum up if you will I like the gun balance. Well, I say that I like the gun. I like the, I like the way the guns feel when you're using them. I think there's two or three of them are quite overpowered, certainly compared with the ones you start off with. But it's good fun. Um, I think you've got till the 23rd of October or something to get this game on PS Plus if you've got PS Plus, that is. Or at least add it to your download list. And then it disappears. I think we're getting Metal Gear Rising, they announced recently, which I did play the demo of. But if they're going to get the full game, I'll, I'll possibly slog my way through it. Um, I don't know. Anyway, back to Far Cry 3. I, I'd pay a tenner for it, I think, is my what I, the, the most I'd be prepared to pay for it. The single player is a lot of fun. Uh, possibly a bit too big the map for my liking. I, I'm more of a... I mean, as I've mentioned before, Dishonored is one of my favourite games of recent memory. Although, you know, the maps are fairly big. There isn't actually that much to do, whereas in Far Cry 3 the map is massive and there's a lot to do. So it's a bit like Just Cause 2 that you often get sidetracked, and Grand Theft Auto for that matter, any of these kind of open world games, you can get sidetracked in bugging around doing nothing particular for hours. But anyway, back to Far Cry 3. Yeah, £10 is what I'd pay for this. The, far, the multiplayer, it's a bit like Goldeneye on the, on the N64 in a way. It kind of feels a bit tacked on, but they did, there are some good ideas in there, some, definitely some nice touches in there. And it's definitely worth a look, so yeah. Um, anyway, thanks for watching guys, take it easy and I'll catch you later. See you later, bye.